Okay, so I was picking around my um, bedroom and some of the basement here items that, uh, man, I knew I had leather somewhere around. Dan had some leather too, but we might have, you know, I got donated or pitched or the craft stuff the kids got. But, um, yeah, so I found a project. I don't remember exactly when I did this. I think it's kind of that foggy era after, like, I swear I got targeted. I don't know if it's like the cartels or what, like eighth grade. I've, I've read that. I've heard others say that too. They like to target, you know, it's like they're a Latin group, so they target the vulnerable, you know, um, the prepubescent, pubescent age. But this actually documents some stitches, so I must have been using the sewing machine a later, little later than I thought because this can't be the... I don't remember being that kind of, I don't say stupid, but primitive technology stuff until after that. So it must have been like ninth grade. So I'm guessing like it must have been 13, 12, so it must have been a little bit after um, the earlier geekier stuff, but uh, model rocketry, you know, air, airplanes and whatnot. But yeah, it's kind of cool to see the different range of stitches also. But I don't see anything else other than this one. There's this also, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, seems like it would be 8th grade-ish or so. But I was getting into art, AXO. I think that's like something to do with... Um, I must have been wanting to make... And I almost wonder if I cut this out to be a sole eventually for the shoes. But I, I don't know. I think it must have been at one time that it was like motocross stuff. Rad Racer. And some of that stuff I might have gotten into a little earlier on. So that could be even older. And this, I don't know, I kind of remember growing up with this. So this is like a piece of leather. I think Dad must have been when he'd crochet and leather work and stuff. Even, when, you know, when I was younger, growing up, this is something that just that he had. So this is still around. So this is thick, heavier duty material. So I'll cut some sections up and do some test stitches with this because I'm curious to see what this looks like. All right, as I suspe suspected, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, do it on 37, the test. Um, I figure the white family would you know. Actually, it's a more of a pain with a hand um, using this uh, balance wheel to turn. But stitches look awesome. A little bit sticking, pulling up. I can see why the, the blade of the leather blade's better. But I started off at um, uh, 4, and then I switched over to the biggest stitch length, which um, I actually, excuse me, two, four, and then, then the biggest stitch length. And um, yeah, it looks really good. Yeah, two, four, six. So um, yeah, and then I did a reverse, and that was uh, four. Reversing for so um, I'm going to go out and try doing the even thicker material, which this stuff's even thicker and stiffer. I'm not even going to bother doing that finished right now. I might sew some on, but I'm going to try doing two of the next one. Awesome! Yeah, this looks really good. This this is a little more sticky. So this is wanting to bounce up, but I'm um, starting at two, going to four, and then the transition, there must be something with the transition. Um, I have to probably be in a certain position, but uh, it, that that's not good. So I uh, missed, uh, missed a loop, so I don't know what, wasn't paying attention. I should probably pay attention when I change stitch length. Um, but otherwise, when I went to six once it got going seems decent seems pretty good um and then i went to four in reverse and then two to finish off so looks looks good other than that um transition where 
here. Maybe six needs a little more attention, but something, something was, uh, yeah, like the tension, tension. Maybe, maybe when I switch to the stitch length, a little bit of thread backed up. I, I don't know, something earlier, but it looked good up until then. So, a little low tension starting off here. Yeah, maybe, and is that the transition? Yeah, something to do with those transitions. Maybe I'm supposed to be down when I transition, I'm always going up. So, next up I'm going to layer these two together and see if it'll go through all that. Okay, okay, this, this definitely, I just found a limitation with this. Like, I almost think that head actually flexed a little bit. And I, it wasn't from the needle, but the mechanism's so strong, I mean, it sure did look like it flexed. These, the, the bottom of the needle bar, that bottom of the needle bar is really like pressing the material together. So this is too thick for this machine. It'll be interesting to see what the, um, what Rusty's can do now with this thick. I think three, it might do okay. I don't know, it might be too thick. But um, it seemed to be able to penetrate, um, but it just wasn't stitching so good. So the, uh, is this one? yeah, I think that's even got a uh, under, yeah, that, that's, I, I don't know. It's, that's just not, that's limitation, wah, wah, fail. But two layers as thick as heavy material and uh, that the thinner, lighter material. That's the thing. This is pretty light. No problem. Can go through that. That's not gonna have a problem. I kind of now wonder. Maybe I'll pull this apart and then see if I can go through three. Maybe I'll try that. Okay, three layers seems to be about the limit with this. I'm guessing I could do the two layers and then one of this lighter material. But yeah, that um, turned out okay. So that was a four going to a six. This time, when I transitioned, I made sure the needle was down. So I have it up when I transition stitch length. Now when I went to try to go into reverse, I think it's bent the needle. I, I actually broke the needle. So, um, yeah. So <laughs> the reverse uh, operation going into two actually, I think this is on the edge. It didn't really penetrate. It just kind of slipped off at an oh, actually, it might even look like it's an angle. Yeah, I think the fabric's kind of at an angle. So I think it threw off the trajectory of the needle, kind of pushed it out that way, wrapped the stitch around and wound up breaking. So, yeah, I broke the, yeah, yeah so, um, didn't really get a reverse stitch. Well, interesting. Cool to see the limitation. But yeah, that was it's kind of scary seeing that needle bar push down. And man, I tell you, it sure seemed like this flexed. <laughs> I sure want to say it flexed, but it was the mechanism stronger. It was pushing into um, try to make that stitch through the uh, you know four layers. But I'm gonna pull this I think back apart and um, leave it as these two thick test pieces. Okay, be safe, stay healthy. And until next time, um, read something. You know, get out there and read and uh, learn something new.